Hello and welcome to RegoFix Tech Chat. My name is David McHenry. I am the engineering and technical manager here at RegoFix USA. Today, let's talk about what happens when you use a dirty collet and specifically what happens to your torque. As in most cases, when you do a tool disassembly, you don't always have time to clean everything. So sometimes that collet may get a quick wipe down with a rag. Sometimes it's just immediately reused and the tool put back in because that machine is waiting to have that tool put back in place and start manufacturing. But what happens to your clamping force? So today we're going to compare a clean assembly versus one where the collet has dried coolant on it. What happens? What are the results? Okay, we are back over here at our Torco block again, and I have our ER32 ring already on the, the Torco block, and I've set my maximum torque at that 100 foot pounds. So let's go ahead and put my tool holder in. Now, this is the, uh, the collet with the dried coolant on it. Uh, this is kind of what you're going to have or see when you're in a hurry in a shop and you're kind of blowing through things relatively quickly. But what effects does that have, if any, on the final product? So if I actually rub it, I can feel a little bit. Maybe you can see the shininess on my finger. I'm going to go ahead and assemble this. And we will put in one of our half inch torque pins. And let's torque this down to the full 100 foot pounds. And now let's measure it. We've moved over to our torque measuring device and let's measure our clean assembly first. Now this is um, about as clean as it can get. Everything's been wiped down, uh, torqued to 100, 100 foot pounds and we have that half inch pin. Now this is the clean mark. This is our benchmark. We will compare the, uh, the oily or the dirty collet assembly to. Now let's get this to engage with our torque meter. And let's see how much force we have on this one. So 100 in, about 99 out. So pretty much a one-to-one -one ratio, which is about what we would expect. So what happens though when I put in the dirty assembly? So let's set the clean assembly aside. Now this is our dirty assembly where we had the dirty collet. Now the rest of the assembly was clean, but let's just see the, the effects of just a dirty collet. We got very lucky there that it actually lined right up. So 79. So a 20 foot pound drop. So significantly different. Looking back at the results, the clean assembly had 99 foot-pounds, the dirty assembly about 79 foot-pounds, about a 20, 20 foot-pound loss or a 20 percent loss in clamping force just by using a dirty collet. Now a dirty tool holder and a dirty nut, they all add into that as well and your loss could be much much higher. Simple cleaning, get you the added clamping force, and get you the performance you deserve when you're using a high quality ER product. If you have any questions at all about how to clean, how to torque, or how to use your ER tooling system, please feel free to reach out to our technical team. We're here to answer your questions.